Hey Aries, welcome back to my channel, The Light of Grace, and this is Grace. It's time for another money job life reading, and this will be for the month of March 2022. I thank you so much for coming back. I thank you so much for my subscriber who hasn't given up on me and is still supporting me. Thank you. And for my new viewers, I'm hoping that there is something here that can guide you and assist you in your soul journey. And if it does, please like, share, subscribe, leave a positive comment, only positive, please. And hit the bell button so you can be notified of any new readings that I have for you. Okay? So this is the money reading, the hours with job reading, hours no job reading, and life reading. If you hear a beeping sound, that is my laundry. Not one second, please. <laughs> Okay, I uh, just have to turn the laundry machine off. Okay, and this will be the last, the, the three tangible blessings that you're going to be receiving. And I will mention this at the end of the reading, okay? Put this on the side for now. So what's coming your way, Aries? You have the triumphant. This is money reading. Rejoice in celebration. Surrender to the magic of who you are. We all have magic in us. Can you see it? We all, mag mm. we all have magic in us, even in the mundane aspects of life. Remember that you are a magical being with a uniqueness and worth that comes from just being you. Messenger of water. Groundhog spirit. Time to let go. And community let me just look at this quickly this is a lovely energy it's because you have the triumphant or the chariot energy here then involving the three rejoice in celebration or three of cups this is a beautiful energy so for the month of march 2022 you're going to have money, okay? If that's the first thing you want to know, you have money. You have success in building your money. You're going to, you have abundance, okay? This is success. And I feel that with this triumphant being here, your money progresses. It builds up. It might be little at a time, but it's building up, okay? And you are so celebrating it. You are so happy about it with the three of cups in here because for some reason you've gone through some situation long time ago i feel like long time ago that it wasn't you were stuck in a um, situation that did not make you happy and somehow you lost your confidence you question yourself your ability but way back to you realize you let go you let go anything that does not serve you anymore. Any thoughts, any feelings, any people that's hindering you for moving forward, for building the money that you want to build, you kind of let it go. Okay, you trust your intuition. You trust your, your feeling. You trust yourself with the messenger of water here. You trust yourself. And little at a time, they... One second. Sorry, I have to blow my nose. Sorry, you didn't want to hear that. So, little at a time, then you started realizing that, oh my God, I can actually do this. I can actually make some money. I can actually build my money. I can actually stabilize and secure my money. You know how you figure it out that there is some magic in you Magic, in a, not exactly or literally magic, but the magic I'm talking about is the ability to sort things out. The ability to solve problems. The ability to figure how you can find a solution to a certain problems. And also, of course, with the help of your community, you have people that you trust. You have people that really support you and guide you. Okay? But also, you know that you know how to differentiate the people that's going to be toxic around you and positive around you. And you know that. And you've let go the to the toxic ones. Sorry, I'm having allergy right now. But anyway. Okay. 
you find your magic like what i said and you started building yourself up and started figuring things out a little at a time and this is the trickling of success there is going to be a continuation of success when it comes to money money is going to be beautiful for you for the next few months and you're going to be celebrating it with your family with your friends with yourself or just you you're going to celebrate it okay and for the ones who's not in this energy the divine mess the divine message for you is that to surrender to the magic of who you are know who you are okay you are a magical being you have some uniqueness you have the ability to figure things out see this lady has a unicorn i think it's not a really a unicorn it's a horse but i would think it's a unicorn what i'm just saying is that there's something about you if you could only figure out who you really are and the power that that kind of resides within you a power that you know that figure out solution that can figure out the problem and find a solution or you know yes you're going to be successful but also you have to look at life in a positive light you have to look at life um with hope and positivity so you attract and also optimism so you can attract all that because the other group who successfully gone through it they believe that they can do it and they're hopeful okay and that it's enough to build the power within them to push through to make it to where they are at this point in time you also have to learn to let go like the other group of those toxic energies that not supposed to be around you that's pulling you down more to feeling lack and also know who the one you can trust in regards to your finance and stick to those people all right otherwise yes you have success when it comes to money this um march 2022 good job aries let's go to aries with job what's coming your way you have the rest and rejuvenate sacrifice surrender your belief in scarcity the universe is asking you to open to the infinite nature of abundance in this way you can remove blocks in your life and succeed beyond your wildest dream To be fair fox spirit think on your feet to a fire oh my god my runny nose okay this is also a beautiful reading because i have the rest and rejuvenate and scars and sacrifice here i feel that for your iris with job there's going to be a time to breathe this month of march meaning that there's not going to be a lot of uh things going on you know a lot of actions or a lot of problems at work you're just going to be hanging around at the same time you're also uh having uh new perspectives about your work there's probably some stuff that's going to be happening that's oh you're opening your eye for any possibilities of you know expanding your thoughts and your knowledge and your abilities and that's the welcoming ideas of that um this is a hangman so you're welcoming any ideas of anything that might uh progress you or expand your knowledge and ability and this is about surrendering your beliefs and scarcity meaning that you're not limiting yourself you're welcoming any new ideas any abundance any knowledge that you might need to know in order to advance yourself to the next level but also not just that but also you feel good that if you are actually learning new things about your work okay and work has not been easy for everyone and i'm talking about everyone there's no perfect job okay and most of the job there's always a day or a week or a month that's really like shitty or crappy okay and there's a month that is beautiful and so with this to be fair here i just feel like this is the month that maybe if last month wasn't that great then this is going to be the justice you're receiving for you know going through the hardship last month but last month and now they're giving you this gift of peace 
and rejuvenation and um, balance. There's going to be some decision making that you're going to be doing. There's a lot of thinking and processing with the thing on your feet here at work. And there's some there's a lot of things that you're going to be looking forward. So the universe is saying that there's a lot of things that you're going to be looking forward about work, new ideas, new plans. Um, there's going to be a little bit of imbalances that happened in the past, but this month is going to be better. And just welcome anything that might come to your work this month of March 2022 okay um and if there's any injustice that have happened in the past with your fellow co-workers then this saying that there's going to be healing coming this march to heal that issues that you have with your co-workers or with your boss or or if anything that really think that it's unfair for you uh, that happened in the last few months then march would be the, the month for you to to heal those okay all right, good. Sorry for my sniffles. Now we're going to go to Aries with no job. What's coming your way? You have the shadow or the moon. You have the prosperity begins or the page of pentacles. Surrender your addiction. Whether you're addicted to substances, food, people, sex, or overworking, take action to begin to heal the addiction and replace it with healthier alternatives. Outer spirit, you are never alone. For a fire. And happy, happy. Okay, for the month of March 2022, for my RSV job, I think there is a face-off with yourself. You know, face-off. <laughs> the bad and the negative. The bad and I mean the positive. Face-off because look at this. These two are facing off. And you are facing your, this is you and you're facing you. You're facing your shadow self and you're facing your 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 light self. Okay, so what I'm feeling with this one here, because I have the the surrender your addiction okay here and i also have the you are never alone so what i'm getting from this one this march okay this march there is a face off of you you have to face your your fear your anger your frustration desperation losing hope all those um shadow self Okay, you're going to face that, even addiction. And if for some of you, you are addicted to, to substances, foods, people, sex, or overworking. But for you, since you don't have any job, then overworking may not be it. What I'm just getting here is that there is, because this is a, this also a devil energy. Let's just say for a moment, whatever this addiction, whatever this toxic energy, this is something that you really have to face. Because here you are, you want a new start. You want a start that is stable, grounded, and has possibilities, right? This is what you want. This is what your light self wants. But this is your dark side that kind of got stuck into. Now, because of this, um, this devil energy, it feels like this is the one that's holding you down. The devil energy is holding you down to progress. What I'm saying is that maybe you're talking to yourself and saying, you're never going to be successful or you can't do this, you know, or you're just angry or maybe your frustration, you deal with your frustration by drinking alcohol or by, go, by do, using drugs or by just hanging out and partying instead of focusing and and figure out to get your stability how to get your stability so if you have been running away from that you know from fixing this then you're never gonna find a job you're not you're never gonna find stability because you're letting the shadow rule you in order to find 
a stable, grounded job for you, an opportunity that's really going to last long, then you have to stay in the light side. Light side, this has the energy of positivity. Not letting the devil energy to rule them. Instead, to use their power to relinquish that energy or to deter from that energy and stay focused on the positive ideas and thoughts and feelings, okay? Because from the deepest part of you, the divine knows you want a happy, happy life. You want to be stable and grounded and successful, okay? That's what the divine knows. They know that you want that. But somehow you got stuck in this feeling of you're not gonna get you're not gonna get any job. Just because, just because you're talking yourself down. The divine is saying that aside from surrendering the devil energy or the addiction, is to let you know that you are not alone in this, that you have people that's really close to you who really see your potential. You just got to trust them. You got to trust yourself that whatever they say that you have them. Sometimes when we are so like synced into the feelings of desperation, anger, frustration, feeling like a loser, that whatever the people that we love say to us, we don't believe them because we believe to the other brain that says you're a loser okay so now the divine is saying why don't you start trusting the people that you care about whatever they're telling you they're guiding you they're giving you the support they're giving you the love that you needed in order to push forward and that love and that support would be would help you to bring the light side of you to kind of lean towards the positivity to lean towards of having hopes and dreams and believing that you can do it, okay? And also, sorry, my nose is itchy. <clears throat> and also, the divine knows that you can do this. And also, the divine knows that this is what you've been wanting you might not seeing it, you might not realizing it, but from the deepest part of you, that your deepest emotions and deepest thought that you want a fresh start. You want to be to have a secured financial life, security, something that you can be proud of, something that you can be happy about. They see your potential. So hopefully this March, this Light would win this face-off, would win this battle. You have to face it strong. You have to be strong in order to reach this because there is goodness awaiting for you only if you strive hard to get there. Good stuff just does not come into people's life. Sometimes we really have to work hard for it. And sometimes the more we work hard for it, the, the, the longer it lasts in our lives instead of getting an instant blessing and then they will just go away quickly too as it comes fast. I'm hoping that you're getting what I'm trying to say. You have the potential. They, the universe sees the potential. Let your light side win this phase off so you can have these beautiful opportunities, stability, security, and a happy life come your way. Okay? All right. That's beautiful. Let's go to Aries life. What's coming your way? You have light or sun. This is a beautiful energy to have for life destiny or the will of fortune beautiful you have a lot of major arcanas you have five out of eight by the way meaning these are important energies that you're going to be tapping into this march 2022 surrender to trust trust yourself and your decisions don't be swayed by other people's strong opinion and about what to do 
take action and be confident that you have chosen the right path. That advice also falls on these hours with no job, okay? That you have to stop, start listening to the positive things that people say to you. That the, the negative people who sway you, oh, you're not going to get it. Don't bother looking for a job. Oh, you can't do it because you're dumb, dumb. No, don't listen to them because they're not telling the truth. Those are the thing that a shadow self can pay attention to. So try not to, okay? You have no place like home. Spirit has planned. Koala spirit. And page of water. This is beautiful, all right? It's because you have the sun and the wheel of fortune. You have light and destiny. So we'll talk about this as a general energy coming into your life. And life has a lot of aspects, has a lot of crevices, a lot of sections of our life, right? And saying that this is the energy that's going to come to your life this March, this is a big energy. It might not reach all the crevices and corner of your life, but in general, this is the one that's going to cover your life. This is the one that's going to envelop your life. This is the one that's going to stand out more. So you have a happy, 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 light, fulfilling, positive, hopeful energy coming your way. This March, beautiful. Okay? And from the deepest part of you, deepest emotions and deepest thoughts, this is, it feels like a new start for you. It's a new cycle being thrown to you. It's a new cycle that's being gifted to you by the universe. You're feeling lucky. You're feeling blessed. You're feeling like everything is so beautiful in your life. That is the destiny energy. And throwing this light to the wheel of fortune, that is beautiful, you know? Yeah, I, I wish I wish I have this beautiful energy here. It's beautiful. Because from a lot of you, you've gone through some spirituality. You might not realize it. There's a realization. There is recognition. There is an appreciation of you. You have you build trust. Okay. You surrender to you you surrender to trust. And when I say trust, trust to the divine, trust to the universe, trust to your Spirit guide and your guardian angels. And at the same time, you're trusting yourself and the decision you're making for yourself. That it is for your highest good. Okay. And this beautiful light and destiny energy, it brings to this energy of comfort and a homey energy, you know. Yes, your life, you might not believe, you might not be living a luxurious life. You might, you might not be the richest person in life. You might not be, you might not have family, a lot of family. But even if you're by yourself, even if you're with a group of people, even if you're living in a small house, you feel like it's a home. Because there's so much light, there's so much hope, there's so much feeling lucky and everything feels fresh to you. Okay? Beautiful. You trusted the divine. You trusted that whatever the divine and the universe has planned for you, you just got to trust it. You you surrender to trust and you surrender to the divine, to the universe. The divine has planned for you and you have been listening to it. So focused and so so um you're really listening to what's the word i'm trying to say attentively you're really listening to you to the divine's message attentively and when i say you're listening to the divine's attentively this is just about you listening to your own intuition to your god feeling and you follow that and that was that is your compass that is your navigator that is your guidance to get you to the light energy and to the destiny energy. Page of water. This is feel like a fresh beginning of joy and happiness in your life. Okay. So if you are not in this, if you are not resonating with this, if you're still in a sh shitty, unhappy situation of your life and fulfilling on a down slope or whatever, or, you know, 
The divine is saying that to be in the light and the destiny energy, to attain this for the month of March, you have to do some work. And the first work that you have to do is to trust. To trust yourself, your decision, with the guidance of the divine and the universe. And, and trust in your intuition that the, the whatever decision you're going to be doing is based on, is for your higher self. Okay, it's for your expansion, for your growth. Okay. And you have to start believing and hoping and having a positive thought to go through this. You have to opening up your heart and your mind, especially your heart, to welcome any thoughts of possibilities and hope that life is going to change, that your life, that the wheel of fortune is going to change, that the sun is going to rise in your life. So the second advice would be for the one who's stuck in the darkness, who's stuck, who's stuck in the unhappy life, okay? So work on your trust. Surrender to the divine. Believe in the divine. Follow your intuition. And start inside your heart. Open your heart for, any, for the hope and optimism to come to your life that will shine that will let this sun light to shine towards your heart but for the ones who've already gone through it wait well, i'm i'm happy for you aries for the one who's going to be getting this light and destiny energy this is going to be a sunny month for you even though it's cloudy it's still going to be sunny <laughs> right even if the weather's the gloomiest, cloudiest weather for March, you are warm inside your heart. How about that? So you have triumphant, rest and rejuvenate, shadow and light. You have so many uh, major arcanas and I feel there's going to be a big impact. These arcanas, these major arcanas has a big, they're going to have a big impact in your life and I feel that because you're opening yourself up again to change your life, to find your life, to letting your light shine, to letting you shine and be successful and triumphant and victorious to any goals and plans that you might have for yourself. So these, that's beautiful. These are the three tangible blessings that's going to be coming your way this March 2022. Meaning when, it's, when I say tangible, this is going to be really made available for you appreciation this is the month where you're going to be really appreciating anything that happens in your life you're going to be appreciating yourself you're going to be appreciating appreciating all the blessings and guidance that the universe and the divine is giving you this is about giving gratitude this is about appreciating and seeing and recognizing that this is not just all company, but also with the assistance of the divine and the universe. Yeah. Awakening. Wow. That is beautiful. And it feels like it is awakening because you are pushing the shadow self of you to be in the ditch and you letting the light to be the leader of the band, to be the one pushing forward. And that seems to be opening your, your heart space all your your chakras to any possibilities of any beautiful things that you might receive out of actually doing the work of pushing forward to this door that's being opened to you which is you're entering the light recognizing yourself realizing who you are finding who you are finding your power that is the awakening positivity beautiful Okay, there's so much beautiful, positive energies coming your way. And I know for the Aries with no job, you're going to let this light win. You're going to. And I feel like you're going to because there's so much light and positivity here that's going to help you to be successful in pushing the shadow self on the ditch, on the side, and make your light side be the winner of the face-off. 
okay this is your reading aries i thank you so much i'm sorry for my sniffle and but again thank you very much i'm sending you lots of love and light and i'm giving you my big hug okay bye bye